Oh, what are now considered the glory days. The mighty Pete Carroll stepped down at USC in January of 2010 to take the Seattle Seahawks coaching job. He left Troy with a record of technically 83-19. and 19. More, though, if you completely disregard the NCAA. So what has happened since? Well, soon after, Lane Kiffin was hired by then-athletic director Mike Garrett. Fast forward to June of 2010, and the NCAA sanctions came down, and they came down hard. Two-year postseason ban, loss of scholarships, Reggie Bush was disowned by the Trojans, and a slew of wins were erased. The following month, USC fired Mike Garrett, and he's replaced by current athletic director Pat Hayden. September of 2013, Wrecking Ball is the number one song in America, rang true for the Trojans because that's when Lane Kiffin was called off a team bus following a blowout loss to Arizona State and was fired. Ed Orgeron took over as interim head coach for the remainder of the season until Clay Helton was asked to coach USC in their bowl game. So for those counting, that's three coaches in one season. 2013 comes to an end as Pat Hayden introduces Steve Sarkeesian as the Trojans' new head coach, and 2014 has a fresh start. Football season rolls around and the Trojans finish a disappointing 9-4. and four. August of 2015, Coach Sark shows up to a preseason pep rally slurring his words and appears to be under the influence. October 8th of 2015, USC loses at home to Washington 17-12. That is their second loss of the season. October 11th, 2015, Sarkeesian takes an indefinite leave of absence, suspected of arriving to practice drunk, suspected of drinking during a game earlier in the season, and Pat Hayden announces that Clay Helton will once again take over as interim head coach. That same night, top linebacker recruit Daylon Hayes announces via Twitter his decommitment from USC. And on October 12th, USC announces the firing of Steve Sarkeesian. Hope this is where the timeline ends for the Trojan woes. Stay here, campusinsiders.com.